Ah, it's time to relax. You know what that means. A glass of wine, your favorite easy chair, and of course, what's in the box, bro, streaming on your home TV. So go on and indulge yourself. That's right. Kick off your shoes. Put your feet up. Lean back and enjoy the show. After all, Militaria sues even the savage beast. Hey, what's up, guys? Dante at SMG War Relics, and it's time for another What's in a Box, bro. We're up to uh, 59, and um, it's been a while. I've been, uh, god damn, I've just been so busy. Actually, you know, I took, I took a, like a week off. Not like off, off, but like I was just working on a bunch, taking a paintball trip with my bros from when I used to play competitively back in the 90s. And uh, we get together once in a while, and they invited me up to New York to uh, to go play some ball. So it took me a good, you know, four or five days of just getting my old gear out and rebuilding all my guns because they're, um, they're just like anything else. If you don't use them, they start to go bad. So you got to uh, you got to go through them and lube them up and change the seals. The seals are on a lot of those guns are just you, t <laughs> you know it's an air gun, so there's a lot of seals. It's not like a regular pistol or or rifle or anything. So the seals just turn into dust sometimes. You literally take them, take the guns apart, and the seals just fall apart and go. So what is this, um, MP38 magazine? These are highly faked, but I'm pretty solid that this one's good. God, it's been so long. I haven't opened any boxes in so long. A couple of weeks, I don't even know what I paid for any of this stuff. Um, so yeah, so I go up there, I go up to New York, uh, Orange County, New York, Middletown specifically, if you're familiar with the area, that's the 845 area code for you dudes in the know. And, um, went up there, my daughter wanted to go, so I was like, yeah, you can come, why not? She's 11, she has her own, uh, paintball guns that I've built for her and put together for her over the years. For fun, mostly. But, um, yeah, we get up there. Freaking white knuckle traffic all the way through Jersey. Because, you know, fuck Jersey. It's just the way it is. Jersey sucks balls. Whistle blows for the first game. She's all nervous. But she's all geared up, looking cool. Whistle blows. She takes ten steps, falls on her face before she gets to the first bunker and breaks her wrist. No shit, I'm not even lying. Broke her wrist. Had to take her to the freaking uh, urgent care up there. It sucked balls. Sucked balls. So, yeah, I didn't get to fire a shot. Neither did she. And we're up there, you know, hotel room, travel, paint, air, entrance fees, all that stuff. Crap for my guns. So I had to get them working. So, yeah, I probably spent about 1500 bucks for... Nothing. I didn't get to do shit. Actually, I did get to go to a decent restaurant with my buddies. So that's, uh, I wasn't bad. So we got an SDAP visor or it's nothing too fancy, but the condition is really nice. Um, what's cool here is you could tell that the, um, the color, it's a little coppery. So they're, they definitely, and they're the same. So they definitely are from the same um, manufacturer, whoever that is, and they went together at the same time. So that's really nice. Sometimes you see them mismatched. Um, so, and a lot of times they're just more of a golder color. So this is a little bit unique, but having all the finish on there is great. Uh, a lot of times these wreaths, the finish will be gone and they're just zinc. And then um, nobody wants them at that point. And it's named... Joseph Fallhaber, Fallhaber, something like that. It's got a little piece of foam in here to keep it nice. 
but this foam off gases so i honestly i probably yeah it's getting it's not soft it's not getting oily sometimes when they get oily they gotta go so maybe this is okay for now some of these foams depending on what they're made out of they get kind of um, when you squish them they kind of stay squished if that makes any sense and if you get to that point with a foam you got to get rid of it because it's uh it's going to start to ruin whatever you've got this one is just um it's definitely old but the foam seems to be okay in here so maybe i will leave it not too bad a little separation there at the bill still nice little moth hole nice that's been mothed to hell and back. So that'd be a value armband. Little pennant, double sided. And this, the guy just threw in for me. He knows who he is because I was like, eh, I don't really see this. I think this is bullshit. I was like, I don't really want that. <laughs> he was pretty much just like, please take it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you do with something with a bullshit inscription on it? Um, anybody wants it cheap, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll give it to you cheap. Basically, for the cost of whatever the lighter would go for without the inscriptions because they're bullshit. Modern laser inscription junk. So, yeah, don't buy this stuff, guys. You see this kind of fantasy Third Reich stuff, you know, inscribed on things. I just, I'm not a fan of buying inscribed things uh, unless you have 100% provenance. The amount of stuff that I get um, offered that's inscribed um, is is mind blowing. And I just say, no, thanks. It's I'm, I'm not into it because the chances of it being real are slim to none. This is um, fine. It's not inscribed or anything. It's just a um, it's nickel. You could tell by the coloration here. It's not silver. Maybe this was added later. I don't know. Again, you know, who the hell knows with this stuff? But. And I've, I think I researched this case before. This comes up, I forget. I found this coat of arms on something else. I don't know what it is exactly, but I'll re-research it. You know, this stuff's worth a couple of bucks. Nothing, nothing crazy. We're not, nothing I was actually going after, to be honest with you. But you want to throw it in the package deal? That's fine. It's mid-afternoon here. Just having a, a fresca. Let's see. What else is what else do we got here to open? Packages are just floating around all over. So yeah, my daughter broke her wrist. So we this was at like 12 o'clock on a Saturday. So we had to go into the freaking um, what you call it clinic that was up there and um yeah for four hours we're sitting around waiting to be seen and waiting to see uh get an x-ray just to say 100 percent that it was broken because you know i'm i'm a big like the way i was raised is you know get up stop crying knock the dirt off brush it off and uh get going but when the tears didn't stop and the shaking was setting in and she started to get nauseous, I was like, ooh, that's a bad sign. So this is, um, I believe this is from a standard, Standarte. This would have went in the corner. No, right? Is that what that's for? I think that's what that's for. One of those, a standard... Um, SA standard. NSDAP SA 
some kind of certificate or no, not a certificate, some kind of a book, an ID book. Uh, does that say two? Is it a two or a three? Would that go with that? Group three. Oh, group three. Troop three. Yeah, so maybe this does belong together. Oh, I love it when I get notes. This one says, You are a jerk off. Damn it! I get no respect. Uh, Volkschul. Roman Catholic. Name. Two different people. All right. Stuff. It's just stuff. More stuff. Yeah, so the poor kid broke her arm. First time playing paintball. Didn't get to shoot a damn gun. That's unfortunate. I it was unfortunate for me too. I wanted to I wanted to shoot people in the face because that's what I like to do. I like to shoot people in the face with paintball guns. It's uh it's a fun thing me and my bros do. And uh I didn't get to do it. So bummer. Another note. This one says, Shave your ass, you hairy bastard. Thanks. Well, another strange note. Strange notes. Cloth para badge. Looks okay. Yeah, this is dope. This is um, this is a Luftwaffe Cape Eagle, and I didn't realize how big this was when he showed it to me. I thought it was he was showing me a breast eagle in the pictures. He had nothing in it for scale, and he didn't even say what it was. So it was just like a, just a picture like this, but from far away. So I was like, that's a weird looking breast eagle, and then I was like, oh shit, that's a freaking Cape Eagle. I've never even had one of those before. I put it on the waft just to make sure it was okay. It came back fine. So that is a really, really nice item. If you're a Luftwaffe collector and you don't have one of these, um, hit me up, man. Uh, it is a sweet mint condition or near, man, it's pretty much mint, unissued Cape Eagle. So phenomenal, phenomenal pickup. Um, I, depending on when you're watching the video, it may already be sold because there's a good chance some of my early subscribers might pick it up another reason for you guys to subscribe to the channel early subscribe you know um, not just subscribe but pay for the uh, the membership to, to see the videos early you get a chance to uh, buy things before they hit the website so it's a nice little nice little perk man so now this this is coming international. This package. I'm gonna be careful with how it's packed here. This is from a small amount of stuff from my Belgian picker. Certificate of demobilization, yada, yada, yada. Looks like it's all in French, so I have to, um, well, it's actually in three different languages. Yeah, I think that was the, the deal with these. They put them in English, parts in English, parts in German, parts in French.
headquarters of the military government. Oh, this is interesting. Qualifications. The following person may be employed as a teacher. That's kind of neat. Here's the guy, maybe. Maybe that's the guy. Wachmeister. Weber. I'm trying to see if... Is that the same name? on Yeah, Weber. Same name on the other thing. Cool. Right, so that all goes together. We'll try to keep it together. That's the cool thing about getting stuff from Europe. You get these nice little collections, family collections that haven't been broken up. You can still find that stuff in uh, in old houses and whatnot. Like some World War One pictures. World War One um, military pass book. And that's uh, what, Russian or Ukrainian, one or the other. A bear pass of some sort. I have a love-hate relationship with paperwork. I don't know. I don't know about this guy's look. He might be a cool dude or he might not be. We don't know. This guy was definitely an asshole. 100%, 100 he was an asshole. 100%. Is that wrong? Oh, he's got a lot of big history here. I'll have to read all this up. Uh, France board at Tylong 45... 542. Man, I wish they made this shit clear. You can't read half of this stuff. Even if you could translate it, you can't even. It's just all shitty handwriting. Mm, I don't know. Maybe he was an asshole. Ooh, above me some DLV stuff. This guy was a good time. That, that you could tell. This guy was a good time at the bars. 100%. This guy looks boring. I bet you this guy was the the boring guy. Never wanted to do anything. In the name of the Fuhrer, Reich Chancellor, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a nice picture. Oh, yeah. That's a real nice SS picture. Guess they go together. Keep them together, maybe. Not in that fucking thing, though. All right. Mother's well, cross case. Oh, some writing in there. That's unusual. You don't usually see 
guy's info in there. And it's, um, unfortunately, it's cracked right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, looks like a little repair up top, too. So not, not a mint condition cross, but it's fine. They sell great, no matter what. That is a hard to come by VDA badge, actually. It's got a repair on it, but still. The enamel actually looks pretty good. That is a tough one to come by. HJ meeting pin. Another DAF ski badge. Not as in good condition. Oh, no. Actually, it's just a different finish. It's not a silver one. It's um, a copper colored one. Getting lucky with these lately. And a bunch of them. Here is a painted uh, HJ member badge. So these painted ones are zinc usually. And all the ones I've seen anyway. The paint is in excellent condition. KVK1. And that's a two. No. God, my eyesight sucks. That's a three. Do, 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 do. Nice looking Hindenburg and World War One EK. Kind of a weird looking mount here, though. Not, not really professionally done. Just like on a piece of cardboard. I mean, I think it's legit. I just think it was done by the guy who owned the awards and not by a professional shop. So... Mother Hindenburg in there. You guys have seen a million of those. Nothing too fancy there. DRL. <clears throat> Good hardware. So what else is going on in the world? SA Sports Badge or um, Sports Tinny Brigade 94. SA Brigade Tinnies are um, really hot, good investments usually. Well, if you're seeing this, it's uh, probably Halloween or just the day after Halloween. This is, what, a 65? Um, no, 107, sorry. God, my eyes are horrible. Hard to see shit when you're... Trying to film at the same time. Well, my jets suck, but we knew that anyway. Jets always suck. So, <clears throat> if you're following American football, you knew the jets would suck. And if you didn't think the jets were suck, and guess what? You're a sucker because Aaron Rodgers is a has been. And I knew that from the beginning. And I said it from the beginning. 
The guy won't do shit with the Jets, and he'll just go to the Jets to die. And guess what's happening? Homeboy is just eating a big dick. Sucking balls. He's sucking balls. Sucking in big balls. Halloween. Do oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to show you what my Halloween uh, costume is going to be. I don't always dress up, but I, this time I'm dressing up. And I'm dressing up like the motherfucking Cobra Commander. Dude, 1980s, bro. Bringing it back. Cobra Commander. You want to see what I'm dressing up as? I'm going to put a picture of me with my Cobra Commander helmet right here. Bloop. And there it is. Yeah, Cobra Commander, dude. Fucking found this helmet for like, I don't know, a hundred bucks. It's like a collectible, man. Like a legit collectible type of helmet. Comes in a nice, like, you know, collectible looking box thing, all protected. So, yeah, man. I'm going to freaking wear it and then just put it away. I'll probably never wear it again. And uh, maybe it'll be worth something someday. Another note. This one says, Hi, Dante. Please eat shit. Mm. They're not getting any nicer, guys. They're not getting any nicer. Bet your Whitman doesn't get those kind of notes. Eat shit, you dirty, hairy bastard. I'm not even really that hairy, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm Italian, but not really Italian. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, do, 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 do. Why do I feel like there's supposed to be something else in here? Check this box here. I could have swore it was something else. Um, so this is awesome because it is a soldier's mind conf with the original box and the shipping note back home. New York City. Isn't that freaking cool? So, and of course it's like pretty much mint condition. No, oh, look, here's a note too. I certify that the enclosed articles are bona fide gifts from a member of the armed forces of the United States um, on duty outside the continental limits of the United States and under public law 790 are entitled to free entry. Freaking cool. It's freaking dope, man. Yeah, man, mint, mint condition. That's a nice collectible item right there. Oh, this is what came out of the box. What the hell am I smoking? Smoking that shit, bro. Yeah, a freaking um, salty luft buckle and belt. Um, steel. Let's see if we can get any juicy information out of this. Uh, it's an RS, and yeah, it's, I mean, this thing's not brittle, but it's had so much stuff applied to it over the years that it's, you can't see anything. It was, it did have probably the RS, RNS logo in there. All right. All good.
<clears throat> so if you follow the um, military podcast with me, Josh, and Bill, um, we just did one on with my buddy Galen David. Great episode if you want to learn about the history of collecting from an old dealer's perspective. Everyone loved it. So I will put the link to that in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed to the Military Podcast, please do because there's a lot of interesting stuff that we talk about on the podcast. And it's just bros being bros, man. It's not like really super duper organized. I mean, we do the best we can so that it's watchable and palatable, but it's not like really, it's not like pompous or structured too much to the point where you're just like, ugh. You know, it's just a bunch of dudes talking about military. So it really, that's the whole goal of the uh, the show. Oh yeah, look at that apple green. I like this. Nice double decal police. Beautiful. M35. Chin straps good. Eagle's in good shape. Decals are good. I don't see any funny business. It's a, it's a winner, man. I love that helmet. A little worn on there, but... Very nice helmet. All right, what else we got for you guys? Halloween, dude, bro. I got a new fire pit for Halloween. So what we do is we, uh, I probably told you this last year, but a couple of my local family, like the local families with the kids, we just hang out. Even if they don't have kids, you're invited over and we just hang out in the driveway with a fire pit and freaking people bring food over and we get the fire pits going and we're just drinking, throwing back a couple cold ones. While the kids are going around trick or treating and eating all their candy and shit, so it's a really, uh, it's a very good neighborly good time. And on we dressed as motherfucking Cobra Commander, bitch. Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? Nice tombak. And it's got the guy's name on it, which is H. H. Tirkel? Turkel? Sweet. Yonker. Blam. Give me a nice little pouch. Bloop. Come on, bro. How do I open this one? Another one. Another note. This one says, Good morning. Enclosed are pieces of war memorabilia that we discussed earlier. Thank you very much, and you suck. It did say that. It said, you suck. 
and stuff. And it also, it was signed, Toss My Salad. Toss My Salad. All right, what do we got in this pink bubble wrap here? Lots of individually wrapped items. H.J. Uh, Buckle and Zinc, and it's got a light zinc pest on it, so um, the details are muted because of that, but it's not heavy. So, honestly, a little bit of wax and a nylon bristle brush brush and we can um, get that we'll preserve it and it'll look better as well um, it'll knock off some of that zinc pest and this is um, m427 man these videos take a long time when we got individually bagged things don't they Early political cap eagle. Um, some dealers will kind of just say it's an early SS eagle, which is not wrong, but they also kind of make it seem cooler than it is because this could have been on any type of political, um, early political cap. So SA, um, other branches like even like early um, like postal stuff and all kinds of early stuff. So they're quite common, uh, but they're still very collectible as they made them for a long time up until the, uh, they changed the Eagle design. So lots of them are out there, but they go for a nice penny. Little tinny here. Never seen that one before. Doesn't look too special though. HJ Sharpshooter badge, M125. Good enamel. I like these little deals sometimes because. Usually the people don't beat me up on price and I can make a few bucks. Now, we're not going to make too much money off of a broken common tinny like that. But here's a nice silver political eagle that's got most of the silvering still there and some highlights as well. So this is a nice, a really nice eagle, actually. A later style, obviously, compared to that little one I showed you before. Another common Mayday tinny early, or um, zinc is what I meant to say. Nice Army Eagle. 38 marked. It's nice to see them marked like that. A little more desirable, I think. Common... Tag their arbit tinny. So these um, common tinnies, guys, I've, I'm pretty much done listing common titties individual. It sounded like I said titties, didn't it? Common tinnies individually because, dude, they just they take forever to sell, and I make, like, profit is nominal on them. So now what I do is I group them together. You know, I'll take, like, four or five tinnies assortment just like this, actually. And here we go, boom. And I'll throw them on the website as a tinny starter pack. And then what I'll do is I'll figure out what the full retail is on all of them. And then I'll knock like 30 to 40% off and I'll sell them just like that. So they're a good deal um, if you're just starting out tinny collecting or if you want to try your hand at reselling. So if you're interested in seeing those starter packs, go under tinnies and there is a starter pack section. And I think they're in the bargain bin as well. So check them out. They're a good deal. This is a nice NSKOV um, cap badge in nickel.
tough to find a nickel. I usually have had these in um, zinc. So that's a nice pickup too. All right, nothing too crazy there. What's the last one? I don't know. I forget what the last box is. It's kind of giving me flag vibes. I should have probably ended with something crazier. Something more impressive like that double decal would have been a nice thing to end on. Oh, we got a couple of things in here. Okay. Oh, here's me again. Another letter. Dear Dante, enclosed are the flag and armband as we have discussed. You are the worst dealer I've ever had the pleasure of doing business with. God damn it. Man. Try, try to be nice. And I get these horrible letters from people. Anyway. It's like a little thing sewn on here. I don't know what that is. Can you see that? Mm, what is that? Is it on? I want to see what it is. Is it on the back? Is it on the other side? It's just an NSDAP banner. It's got a repair there. It's got a hole here. Salty, but it's well made. It's multi piece construction. These are actually, um, I think these are more desirable. Most NSDAP banners will just be the roundel will be sewn on both sides, but the round, the swastika will be print screen printed, um, and then the roundel sewn on separately. In this case, we have um, a higher quality one because the swastika is separate pieces of fabric sewn on in the swastika shape and then that is sewn on to a roundel and then the roundel is sewn onto the flag so it's noticeably heavier than the other ones because of all that extra fabric so they're i think they're nicer i don't know what's going on here with this extra stitching it could oh you, you know what now oh, i know what it is it's a repair Look at that. So there's a repair here. And if we bloop, flip it over, the guy who did the repair was a stunad and it just went right through the other fabric material like a jerk off. Amateur. Amateur. Period repair, no doubt, in my opinion. However, amateur. Here's an early um, HJ armband. Again, like we were discussing with the flag, you've got multi-piece construction, more of a kind of um, homebrew kind of job. I mean, it looks good. It's designed properly, but maybe done in... You ever see those pictures of a bunch of ladies like sewing flags and stuff together? You know, they could have been making something like this as well because it's not quite as precise as you would expect from a factory but still still nicely made multi-piece construction and this black stuff is um stuff you would see this is taken right out of a photo album uh, i'm assuming i wasn't told that but just this black stuff is photo album paper so it was glued to a photo album and then someone took it off and now it's here so that's that. Is that everything I have? I got more stuff coming in, but that's good enough for now, guys. You've had to bear with my annoying voice for long enough. So don't forget, please like and subscribe, uh, comment, whatever. It's great for my channel. 
It helps get us out there with uh, all the YouTube stuff. So please do that. Um, and if you're super um, fucking motivated, you can sign up to be a member and get early access to videos. So that's it, guys. I will see you next time. And um, don't let your meat loaf. Peace.